Good morning and welcome to Heart to Home. I'm Steve and let's go in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time. Thank you for the ability to once again come and say your word. Seek your face during this time. And Father God, uh, I just pray for the ones that are listening. Let my words be your words. Um, not out of my own heart or my mind. And Father God, I just thank you for the, the ability to come and uh, use this uh, technology to bring in these little devotionals to to your home, to the people's homes. And we just thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good morning. And uh, we're back in Psalms 1. So turn to Psalms 1 right now. And we'll read the first three uh, verses. This is part two. If you remember, I did part one last time. And... Uh, I want to finish up this little short six verse chapter. Do you remember the question I asked you last time? I asked you uh, who you seeked out for counsel. And we went through the Psalms and we went through the, uh, the first uh, three verses. And I want to go re revisit those for a minute. And let's read them again. It said, Psalms 1 1 says, Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly or stands in the path of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that brings forth its fruit in its season. Those leaves, those leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does, he prosper, shall prosper. Like I said last time, the whole psalm starts out with blessed, which means a deep-seated joy. And then when I was here last time, I also quoted Haley's handbook, and it puts it this way, the first three verses. It says, blessed are those who uh, derive, their, derive their ideas from God, the, of life. Let's try that again. Blessed is those who derive their ideas of life from God's word rather than for, from their worldly enemies. So basically, in that summary of those three verses, that puts into a summary that the word of God is so alive and real and true that it, it, it produces fruit in our lives if, if we seek it and uh, its counsel. And I want to go through the last uh, three verses, and let's read them right now. Uh, and it says, verse 4 says, The ungodly are not so, but they are like the chaff which, which the wind drives away. Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, or, nor the sinners in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Right off the bat, you can see the, quite a difference in the ungodly versus the godly. It says, the godly are not so. Why are they not so? Let's look back. They do not delight in the, the Lord's word, the law of the Lord. They do not meditate on the, on the word. They're not like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. They do not bring forth fruit in a season. They have withered leaves. The psalmist here, it, through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, is very direct. He says, not so. The ungodly are not so. Not like the ones that are, are uh, taking their instruction or counsel from, from the word of God. And he says, but they are like chaff. Um, in our culture, we don't know what chaff is, most of us. Um, some of us do. It says, which the wind drives away. So I looked up chaff on Google. The chaff, Google says chaffs are husk of corns or other seeds separated by willowing or threshing. 
in the biblical times, it was very, they understood what he was saying here through the Holy Spirit because they had threshing floors and they would take the grain up and they would beat it and they'd thresh it and throw it up in the air and the wind would come through and blow it away. And, uh, and that's what he's, he's relating to the ungodly is this chaff. And actually, if you go on and Google, it says, worthless things, trash. Uh, and uh, I like that. I like that, that they are worthless and, and, and it is trash. And I don't know if you ever have gotten, uh, uh, I cook steel cut uh, oats. And uh, once in a while, I get a piece of hull uh, in there. And it's not very tasty and not very flavorful. You spit it out on the ground if you are in a trash. So he relates that to them as chaff, that they, they're unstable, they're blown away by the wind and they blow away out, uh, away from uh, what is true and they're just blowing, and we know that through the word of God, plus we know that the people in our own lives that are blowing from side to side and they're unsaved uh, friends and family. Verse 5 says, Therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. G. Campbell Morgan puts it this way. They won't be able to stand the test of the judgment, and therefore they are excluded from the assembly of the righteous. And verse 6 it says, for the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Pretty simple, huh? Pretty simple conclusion to this little Psalms. So what makes it, how do we apply it to our lives? How do we apply it in our daily walk? First off, we need to be in God's word. We need to be studying it, looking at it communicating with God through prayer. And we need to take our counsel from the word of God. There's a lot of people that'll give you counsel. And we've been fed a whole bunch of counsel uh, over COVID or uh, over politics. Uh, everybody's got their thoughts, but we take our counsel from the word of God. And sometimes even uh, brothers and sisters in Christ can give you the wrong counsel. They don't mean to, but we take our counsel from the word of God. So we need to apply that in our lives. We also points us to, we need to share the word. We need to share the gospel with other people because the world is dying out there and they're lost. And it's amazing how lost the world is. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, just thank you for this time. Thank you for, once again, just for your words. And we just praise you and give you all the glory. And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Goodbye until next time.